Saipem, the Italian public company, part of the ENI Group, is a leading onshore and offshore contractor within the global oil and gas industry. Saipem is proud to welcome you on board the Firenze FPSO. This film will take you on a tour among the new Firenze FPSO, the oil and gas processing systems. The vessel upgrade and conversion works performed to change the 1989 built Beta Tank 2 crude oil tanker into a fully refurbished and Rena class certified FPSO, compliant with all the latest international and Italian safety and environmental standards. The Aquila Phase 2 project posed significant technical challenges and constraints that required the innovative and determined efforts of a dedicated Saipem project team to successfully design, build and complete on time, on budget and safely without any lost time injuries. The construction phase of the works has been completed under Saipem supervision in the United Arab Emirates by its subcontractors, Lamprel Energy Services for the topside process modules and Dry Docks World Dubai for the vessel refurbishment conversion, integration works and the turret. Once completed, the FPSO will sail from the UAE using the existing vessel propulsion and navigation system to be permanently moored by a bow-mounted single-point turret system in 815 meters of water depth, 50 kilometers northeast from Brindisi in the southern Adriatic Sea at the ENI Aquila Oil and Gas Fields. Firenze FPSO has a design life of 15 years, is owned and will be operated by Saipem. She will be used first for the continued development of ENI Aquila oil and gas fields. Firenze FPSO is a double hull diesel engine propelled vessel which has been outfitted with new aft living quarters for up to 56 people, complete with all modern facilities. The FPSO has an oil and gas process facility designed with a treatment capacity of up to 18,000 barrels of liquids per day to safely remove H2S with gas production of 205,000 standard cubic meters per day and with a storage capacity of 700,000 barrels. The FPSO consists of three main components, the turret, which is the heart of the FPSO mooring system and the interface between the FPSO and the field. The top side modules, which includes oil, gas and produced water process facilities, complete with all associated utilities and power generation. The vessel, which includes the accommodations, main engine propulsion, services, utility systems, crude oil cargo storage, tandem mooring and offloading and heli-deck. We shall begin our tour of the FPSO at the bow-mounted external turret. From the base of the chain table to the top of the gantry structure surrounding the swivel stack is 42 meters and has a weight in excess of 800 tons. A combination of slewing ring and pad bearings located at the top and bottom of the outer and inner turret shafts allow the external shaft that is integrated into the bow of the FPSO by upper and lower cantilever structures to rotate around the geostationary internal shaft that is anchored to the seabed by eight mooring lines connected to the chain table at the bottom of the turret. This design allows the FPSO to weather vane freely according to the prevailing wind, wave and sea conditions. Once moored at the Aquila offshore field, an installation winch will be used to lift and connect four risers for production fluids and gas lift and two electrohydraulic control umbilicals from the subsea wells to the turret. Through the risers, the fluids from the subsea wells, which comprise a mixture of crude oil, water and gas, enter the FPSO for processing. 
The function of the topside modules is to separate according to the strict specifications. This mixture is to provide oil and clean water in accordance with the required standards. The topside process facilities consist of 12 modules, varying in weight from 10 to 530 tonne, each designed and constructed for single lifting installation on board the FPSO and to be connected together through central pipe rack modules to form a complete oil, gas and water processing facility. The mixture of crude oil, water and gas passes through the turret into the central pipe rack to module 31, the production module, where the fluids are heated before the oil, water and associated gases are separated in the inlet separator and oil dehydrator. From here, the crude oil is sent to the oil stabilization and utilities module 13, where it is stabilized in the oil stabilizer column to achieve market specification before being routed to the FPSO cargo storage tanks for later offloading. The resultant produced water is de-oiled and sweetened in the produced water treatment system to obtain the required environmental level of cleanliness prior to being discharged overboard. Some of the gas gathered from inlet separator is compressed in the gas lift compression module 12 and piped to the turret swivel to lift the oil flowing from the subsea wells. The lift gas system consists of three three-stage compression trains. Between the second and third stages, the lift gas is dehydrated in module 23 dehydration column to avoid hydrates formation. Module 12 accommodates a standby kick-off compressor, which if necessary will be used in black start operation. Module 13 provides nitrogen, fresh water and instrument air, the utilities required for the other modules processes. Gas from Module 13 oil stabilizer column is transferred to the H2S, hydrogen sulfide removal package on Module 49. This is another industry offshore first for Saipan, being the first time such removal technology has been used on an FPSO. The H2S is removed from the gas by oxidation through chelated iron to produce solid sulfur and water. The sulphur is partially dried in a pressure filter, packed and sent ashore. The residual content of H2S in the lean gas is less than 100 parts per million, which enables it via the fuel gas compressor on module 13 to be recycled and consumed as fuel gas by the vessel steam boilers in the engine room and by the power generation gas turbines on module 50 as well as the sour water stripper unit on module 31 and other consumers such as the ground flare pilots, purge gas and blanketing. The gas dehydration process, the removal of water content from the gas, is necessary to avoid hydrates formation in the lift gas. and also to reduce corrosion in the FPSO process facilities and is accomplished in Module 23 by mixing the gas with triethylene glycol in the TEG package contractor column. Module 23 also houses the chemical injection package and dedicated chemical storage tanks and dosing pumps which deliver the chemicals to respective injection points to optimize both the process and asset integrity. Two gas turbines provide the main power for all the topside process facilities and are located on the power generation module 50. The local equipment room, module 51, is divided in three pressurized rooms. An electrical room with the electrical switchboards and equipment for main, essential and emergency power distribution. An instrumentation room with the integrated control safety and shutdown cabinets and the uninterrupted power supply and the battery room 
an external louvered enclosure which holds the power transformers. The FPSO process facilities are completed by Module 62 Laboratory for various analysis to be carried out on board. Module 01, Ground Flare, Module 04, Middle Crane, and Module 06, Main Laydown Area. The vessel existing engine room machinery space provides general services to the FPSO, including steam, potable, fresh hot and fire water, sewage, service and utility air, and main essential and emergency power for the accommodation, marine and topside systems. Boilers generate low pressure steam which is used as heating medium for topside's processes and for offloading activities. The export quality crude oil received from the topsides is stored in vessels 18 cargo tanks until being offloaded into shuttle tankers which will transport the oil to its final destination. The oil is transferred by the existing vessel steam turbine driven cargo pumps via a floating hose system to the shuttle tankers tandem moored at the stern of the FPSO. The new living quarters accommodates up to 56 people in a combination of one, two and four bed cabins and includes mess, galley, freezer and dry provision stores, laundry and a dedicated hospital for the care and well-being of the crew. Offices, conferences and meeting rooms, the central control and instrumentation rooms are also available inside the accommodation block. Safety is of the utmost priority. Lifeboats are installed for double the maximum crew complement as well as life rafts. Extensive fire and gas detection systems are integrated with emergency shutdown protocols and firefighting systems. Life-saving appliances are located throughout the vessel and the crew is trained to deal with all emergency scenarios. A Helideck Class H2 is installed at aft part of the FPSO. SIPEM thanks all who have participated, cooperated and collaborated to achieve the safe and timely construction of the Aquila Phase 2 project and wish all those who will sail and operate the Forenza FPSO in the future every success and safety.